now i am going to create a admin controller in this system in order to control everything for the admin so i am going to the terminal and going to write php artisan make controller and then admin controller if you want to control everything uh, from the separate section in the controller you see these are defaults so if you want you can also write here the admin of admin controller that means you can create a folder by the name admin in order to make controller and then into there you can put the admin controller okay so i am going to create this you see that i create a folder by the name admin and then i create the admin controller in there so the controller file is actually this this is the admin controller for me and in the admin controller in the top i am going to use something for example i am going to use the hash i am going to use the auth because i will need to have the auth guard i will use here and also i will have to call the use app model admin model i am going to use here uh, so and also the email class that is i am going to use that will be app mail and then i have the website mail right because into app there is a mail this is the folder and website mail so i call every um, necessary things in the top and here i am going to call public class function uh, public function i am going to uh, create public function and then i will create a dashboard function dashboard function if you want you can also name it uh, as index and the return view will be admin dashboard so in the case of um, the resources here uh, in the case of here i am going to create uh, what i will create here that is a new folder i am going to create in order to put all the data for example that can be admin or here you can also give here the uh, back end or front end anything you can give here so i put here the admin okay so admin dashboard and in the admin there will be a dashboard dot blade dot php so this is admin dashboard and in the admin controller i will have to create another important thing that is public function now uh, which one that is login so admin will have a login and it will be the admin dot login so in the dashboard i will create another view that is uh, that will be here public sorry public and there will be another one i will create here that is login so login dot blade dot php so these two are basic things i am going to check if those thing works or not right so one is dashboard another one is login for the dashboard for example i am going to create something like this and uh, this is admin dashboard and in the dashboard i am going to put a header that is for example admin dashboard and in the dashboard i can create i can show the admin name when admin will log in i will show his name here um, name is for example welcome his name i give here and another one i am going to put that is logout i will also do that but uh, b before running this i will have to create everything in the route and in the web.php for the admin i will create a route here okay so what things i will do here i am going to put something like admin okay so all the admin routes i will put here it already give me a suggestion so here i am going to put for example admin dashboard and here instead of calling it here i am going to call it into the top so i will have to use uh, like this use app http controllers in the admin the controller name is admin controller then i can uh, straight call here admin controller no path is needed so admin controller dashboard and the name will be admin underscore dashboard for example okay so this is the dashboard what will be the login the login will be similar so admin login and here it will be login admin controller and this will be admin login and in the case of logout admin logout here it will be logout and here will be admin logout okay these are okay for now and in the case of login like the dashboard i am going to copy and paste it here here i am going 
to create a login form uh, so login i am going to create a form normal form here like this and for the laravel i will have to use the csrf and a text box will be needed to login that will be the email for example and here i am going uh, to give a placeholder so placeholder is email and i am going to call a br input password another field will be password name will be for example password here placeholder placeholder will be for example password so this is the placeholder and after that i am going to create a submit button that will be a login so this is okay for now and for the submission how it will work here you see this is the form action here when a person will try to log in what will be happen but before going there i am going to check if this works or not so let's go here in my application this login actually the user login right so for the case of admin i will use the admin login you see the form comes here that i have just created so this is the login form right so it is coming so when the form will be submitted so here i will send him to a route that will be a login uh, submit this route i do not have this route yet so in the case of login i am going to copy this line paste it here i will create a post route here that will be for example login uh, submit or something like that admin controller this will be for example login submit function and this will be login submit so the name route that i use here and that means the admin login submit admin login submit so that is here admin login submit and then login submit is the uh, function i will need to create here that is uh, public public function and then i will have to create the login submit class and this is a post route and so here i am going to create a request of request so if all the data is coming i am going to check it using the request all so request all let's check it if the data is coming here or not so let's refresh i am going to give something here something here like this login you see token email is this and password what i give here it is coming and the token is coming actually for the from the csrf you see there is a csrf that token will be changed every time if it is for the security so okay the data is coming right so in order to log in what i will do uh, first i can validate the data uh, so if a person has given anything or not in the admin controller login submit uh, here i am going to close the dd so here i can use the request of validate right so request validate is the by default function of the laravel so i call here the request validate so email is required and email and password is required these two are by default so here everything is okay but in order to show the error message here in the top of the blade file so i am going to write something so in the blade file what i will write there are two types of error one is session error and another one is validation error so in order to use the validation error i am going to use the if and end if and here uh, you know here i will have to uh, use this one if errors any this is by default uh, so i put everything here so this is the default errors any if errors any that means if there is any errors then errors all uh, will be the array that i am going to break using the for this loop and each time i will get a particular error and that error i will show here i am just going to use a li you can use any other system here no problem so this is actually the error for the uh, normal and another one is session error so for the session error i am going to use this if session has error that means if i pass anything using session uh, for example if i put here uh, anything uh, that is return redirect return redirect um for example route redirect route uh, like this if anything i use the width so here if i use the error and uh, for example this is the error so this type of width error i will have to show the data like this that is session error 
so this is actually the flashing uh, message that will come here like the session error so here mm, success and here i call the success so the same thing will be happening in the case of success okay perfect now my user setup is done i am going to here and uh, i am going to make it off so after the validation if the data is validated if everything is okay then what will be the my next step so my next step will be i will check all you know um, i i am going to use for example like or request all so request all data i am going to put into a check check variable okay so i am going to use another one that is data this is an array actually and i will check two items one is email that will be for example like this that is uh, check email and check password that means all the requests that i receive i have uh, all the requests you know because i showed you using the dd what are the information so those information i am going to pass using the data so this is an actually an array and i am going to check admin guard if what then guard and here i can use the admin guard for the user i use the web guard that was a what guard right and the, in the case of admin guard what i can do i can use like this that is if what guard admin and there is a built-in method to check that is attempt so uh, in the attempt i am just calling the data okay so if this one what will be happened you see it is automatically go, uh, suggesting me all the code the github copilot i just press tab okay this is perfect so here you see if the attempt data that means if i get the data checking into my database table then i will redirect the user to the admin dashboard and success message will be login successful or if you want you can just omit it i do not need to show uh, anything here all uh, or i give uh, something and no problem and if there is any error here then it will take you back to the login page with this error that is invalid credentials or like something so let's check out i am not going to use this i'm going to remove it okay so my task uh, should um, be worked and uh, now um, in the dashboard you see i do not put any middleware normally if i put here the dashboard you see i can see the dashboard data but it should not be happened because i did not log in as admin so dashboard should not be shown so how i can protect this i will not write anything here i will write everything in the web you um here i will use the middleware uh, here all the information that i will use you see here is a group middleware so this one i am going to use here and like this so all the route that should not be accessed publicly i will put all this into a group middleware like this that is middleware here my middleware name will be admin i created an admin middleware you know i just call that name that is admin and group function because this is a now will be in under this middleware and this will not be accessed publicly and you see in the prefix i use the admin slash dashboard right so if you want in each case i should not use the admin slash so i what i can do i can uh, easily assign something for example i can easily uh, put a prefix here and here i am going to call here prefix so like this so what will the prefix the prefix will be admin so if i give here the prefix admin then after that this should not be here because the prefix will be automatically admin and then slash dashboard so i do not need to use any admin is in each case admin 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 it should not be written and all other items here i am going to copy this one paste it here remove the internal things all other items for all the things that should be publicly visible i am going to cut those and put it here but these items will not be into middleware i am going to remove it for this you can only use the prefix so route prefix admin then in the case of here i am just going to remove all the admin from the beginning so this uh, should work perfectly now if you want to try to dashboard if i press enter you see you do not have any permission to access this space it is showing the error message and back you to the login page right so i hope you have understood this and uh, now i am going to try to log in as a valid user 
if i do not give here anything press login you see email required password required if i give any wrong email address here then you see password field is required okay i give a wrong email address uh, you see invalid credentials so you will not be able to log in if i put the uh, right credential now the one what i saved here one two three four now click on login you see it is taken me it is taking me to the admin dashboard that means you can now access the admin dashboard because i am logged in so this is perfectly working and the logout you see uh, in the case of admin controller i am going to create another function here that will be logout logout is very easy just put here logout and not view here in the case of logout just use the admin guard that is guard admin logout and after that redirect him to the admin login page with a success message that will uh, show you logout successfully right and after the logout you will not be able to access the dashboard so this is okay dashboard i am going to copy the link now if i click logout actually there is nothing i linked here yet uh, you see in the web.php this is the admin logout is the name route so in the case of dashboard where there is a logout here i call that route so that is route of admin logout so now i am going to refresh click on logout logout successfully right now if i try to access to my dashboard it is not possible and you do not have permission to access this page where is the message the message i set up into the uh, model into here admin model uh, not model sorry uh, it is actually was given into um, the set of here where is this auth or middleware in the middleware was admin middleware here you see in the admin middleware i wrote here if the login is not correct if unauthorized access someone try then it will show you you do not have permission to access this space so this message is actually showing here when you try to give here the dashboard it is not possible you do not have the permission so the login logout dashboard and the admin controller that i show i have shown in this video it is working perfectly